you are most welcome to Spice Royal News. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification button for more updates. Queen Magrath of Denmark faces lengthy physical rehabilitation process following extensive surgery. After such an operation, the queen will need months to recover and will still not be able to carry out her queenly responsibilities, and so because of that, the royal's eldest son, Prince Frederick, who is her heir, will continue as regent for the time being. Queen Margaret II of Denmark was discharged eight days after undergoing a successful back operation from Copenhagen's Rigsjøspitalet. The Danish royal house announced the news on March 2, revealing that the 82-year-old queen is now at Amalie Enberg, and her firstborn crown Prince Frederick will continue as regent for the time being. The medical team responsible for the operation and the subsequent hospitalization is satisfied with the process and with the Queen's condition, the Royal House said awaiting now is a lengthy physical rehabilitation process, which may extend over the next few months Crown Prince Frederick will continue as regent for the time being. The Royal House also announced that the Danish Queen expresses her great gratitude for the professional and good treatment that the Queen received during the hospitalization at Rigsha Spitalet. Her Majesty underwent extensive back surgery at Rigsha Spitalet on February 22, two weeks before the operation. The Royal House said that the Queen had been affected by problems with her back for quite some time and that the situation had recently worsened. The operation was scheduled to take place on Wednesday, February 22, at Rigsha Spitalet in Copenhagen, where the Queen will also be hospitalized after the surgery. The Royal House noted that consequently, a longer sequence of physical rehabilitation is expected adding. This means that Her Majesty's official program in the near future will be postponed, cancelled or handled by other members of the royal family. The Queen of Denmark's duties can be handled by her eldest son, Crown Prince Frederick as regent, or by her younger son Prince Joachim, daughter-in-law Crown Princess Mary and sister Princess Benedict, as acting regents. The monarch decided to undergo the surgery after consultation with Rigsha Spitalet specialists following her surgery. The royal house revealed that the operation went according to plan and that the queen's condition was good and stable under the circumstances. Thank you for watching. Please so not forget to subscribe. May God bless you.